Hello, my name is Karen and I'm currently teaching myself web development. I'm a UX designer and I'm using Khan Academy to learn about making web pages interactive in this HTML and JavaScript making web pages interactive course. So I'm currently working on the classification challenge, which is under the DOM modification lesson. And yeah, here we go. So the first thing is they're asking us, actually, this is only one step problem. So what we got to do is just add classes. So it says, this web page displays a quiz about animal classification with three possible answers. We stored them into three variables and declared CSS rules for two classes at the top. Use JavaScript to add the right answer class to right answer and the wrong answer class to wrong answer one and wrong answer two. All right, so it says pop quiz animal classification. Which animal class do humans belong to? Mammalia acidicea, acidicea, reptilia. All right, cool. So I believe that's that's the right answer. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Humans are mammal mammalias. <laughs> uh, so this this first one is our right answer, and we have that right answer class right here in our code at line seven, and the wrong answer class at raw uh, line eleven. Okay. So it looks like they've already done a lot of the heavy lifting for us. They've stored three variables and declared the CSS classes for two classes at the top, which we just saw. Um, and they've already declared our variables. They've stored them into three variables. Okay. So it looks like we actually have four variables down here in our script tag, which is interesting. We have this answers variable which appears to uh, store everything with the answers ID in the list. So here we have our answer ID and the list items. So this first variable appears to store all three of these items. Okay, and then the second variable, right answer, stores the first item in the array answers. Cool. And the second error, uh, variable stores the second item in the array, and this third variable stores the third item in the array, and it goes zero, one, two because that's how we, um, that's how we count items in indexes in arrays. We start with zero. All right, so cool. Now that I figured that out, what are we supposed to do? We are supposed to. Use JS to add the right answer class to right answer and the wrong answer class to wrong answer one and wrong answer two. All right. Dot class name. So right answer dot class name, that's the property, is going to get right answer. Oops. Right answer. <clears throat> I feel like something should have happened right there, but nothing happened. So let me see. Um, we have our right answer and our class name. Pretty sure that's right. And then we have this this one. Right answer matches. All the lowercase, uppercase matches. Let's look at our ID. Oh, class name. Right answer, this A, ah, is not, oh my gosh, this A is not supposed to be, ah, there we go, it works. That A was not supposed to be capitalized. Okay, I do stuff like that all the time. The only reason I type out things when I'm coding is because I feel like it helps me better learn, but as I go forward, I'm going to try to use autocomplete more and more and type out things and also copy, paste, whatever I need to not rely on my fingers to type things accurately because I know from experience, like right now, it's not going to work most of the time. <laughs> All right, so wrong answer dot class name gets wrong answer. Hmm. Why didn't that work? <laughs> everything's, everything's capitalized the right way. Aha. This is needs to be wrong answer one. We don't have a 
we don't have a wrong answer to. Okay, uh, wrong, and I mean, we do have a wrong answer to. We don't have a wrong answer, uh, just have a wrong answer one and a wrong answer two. Okay, class name gets wrong answer as well. Haha! -ha. Oh, my bad. Put the semicolon on the outside of those quotation marks, and then we are done. Hopper pops up, says, congratulations. Thanks so much, Hopper. Uh, and congratulations to you all for completing this challenge. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next challenge.